A controversial new law in Arizona that bars people from filming police activity from a certain distance is on hold just weeks before it was supposed to go into effect. A federal judge blocked the law today after it got a significant amount of pushback, all centering around First Amendment rights. News for Tucson's Eric Fink is here now to explain in the studio what happened today and then where the bill goes from here. Eric. That's right, Monica. The police filming bill passed on a party line vote this last session up at the state legislature. It was signed into law by Governor Ducey. Today's ruling is a win for the ACLU and a media organization that won it tossed out. Tonight, I spoke with the bill's sponsor, a Republican who's a former police officer and a lawyer who says it's unconstitutional and not necessary. It's a solution in search of a problem. Abby Jensen is part of the National Lawyers Guild. She, along with the ACLU and various media organizations across Arizona, oppose a new law that was about to go into effect in two weeks that makes it illegal to take video of police activity within eight feet without an officer's permission. Opponents say the law that was signed by Governor Doug Ducey in July violates the First Amendment. It's not needed. It impinges on the rights of the public to... Uh, to observe and, and uh, police behavior and hold them accountable, uh, which is a, a long valued right in our country. A federal judge put this law on hold Friday. State Representative John Kavanaugh sponsored the bill in hopes of avoiding distractions in dangerous situations. He used to be a police officer. There has to be a reasonable balance between First Amendment rights and the safety of police officers or anybody. I try to limit it to as few people as possible because it's only the people doing the videotaping that are causing problems. During that moment of distraction, when they turn away from the subject they're dealing with, that subject could assault them, could escape, or could, or could hide evidence. That's what I was trying to prevent. The law that could find people if they refuse to comply is now on shaky ground and may be thrown out before it was supposed to go into effect September 24th. Arizona Attorney General Mark Burnovich said he would not defend the law in court. I wish he'd have championed the bill for police safety. I'm surprised that he didn't do that. Jensen argues the rights of Arizona citizens are on the line here. It gives the police too much power to, to force people to stop filming. Protesters filming police are not a threat to the police. You're not breaking the law unless the police officer says, please get back eight feet and you disobey the officer's order. So it has to be a dangerous situation. You have to realize that's going on and you have to disregard the cop's request that you stay eight feet away. Only then do you break this law. Today, the judge gave the legislature a week to find a lawyer to take their case. Otherwise, the bill will die without becoming law. Kavanaugh says if that's the case, he hopes the judge will give his reasons, allowing the state lawmaker to try to clear up any constitutional issues and reintroduce a new piece of legislation next session. Live in studio tonight, I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.